Um, ears are quite flattened against the body, tails are hanging very relaxed and they're essentially just eating marulas, that's all they're doing. Um, but if the scent of a lion drifts onto where they are, you'll find that all of a sudden they'll stop feeding, they'll turn in that direction, they'll lift their heads, trunks will go in the air to try and get as much of the, the, the scent particles as they can um, and they'll then become far more aware of what is going on around them. Look, she's going to push the tree. <laughs> and you can see how effective it is. She's going to break that whole tree down. That tree is cracking every time she does it. But you see how effective it is in her ability to basically um, harvest multiple marulas by a few shakes of the tree. Um, that tree is by no means a weak little sapling. Um, for us as humans, you would not budge that tree if you tried. Even if you drove into it, you would cause a few fruit to dislodge but you wouldn't get the same effect as what you've just seen right there. It amazes me every time Ellie's do it and I absolutely love it. A tree might break under the amount of pressure she's putting on it. It definitely was cracking just now. Let's see if it goes. But there were so many that fell she could never, there's no way she's eaten all of them. Maybe she just has an itchy forehead that she wants to take care of. Sometimes see this happen with Ellie's when they get a bit sleepy, they'll actually push their heads up against a tree. This is not happening right now, but sometimes when they get a little bit of, they need a bit of a nap, they push their head up against the tree and they kind of actually just fall asleep like that. Um, in this case, that's not what she's doing. She's busy just scratching her trunk and her forehead. Uh, you can see that the, the trunk of the tree is quite abrasive, where an elephant has already broken bark off, and it would make the perfect place just to um, ease all those little itches. You never know if there's maybe a little tick or something like that.